dear students today we are discussing about the chapter 5 of second year differentiate and conduct chapter is differentiate and conduct In this chapter, we are discussing about the continuity and the differentiality of the function. First of all, we shall discuss continuity of the function. First is continuity of a function. There are Two methods to find the continuity of the function. First method is method of one. Let O A be same as O X. Let the O X be a real function. Real function of X. A perfect linear function, and let A be real constant. A be a real constant. Now the function a perfect exists, or a perfect is continuous. Then first step conditions. If of a is defined, first condition is that of a is defined. Second condition, limit of x r tends to a f of x exists. Limit of x tends to a f of x exists. And third condition is limit of x r tends to a f of x. Is equal to f of a. If all these conditions satisfy, then we can say that the function f of x exists at that constant a, or we can say that the function f of x is a continuous function at a given constant a. Let us discuss the next one. So let us take the function. The of x is equal to x square minus nine by x minus three. X up not equal to and now six. If x equal to and x equal to first condition is f of e. F of a here f of a is f of b. The value of a function x is equal to a six. So here b six. Second condition. Limit of x r tends to a of x. Limit x tends to a of x. Limit of x tends to b of x. That is limit x tends to three. F of x is x square minus n x minus three. First of all, for x is equal to three, so here we have x square minus n by two minus three, so it is zero by zero. A function is in if a function is equal to zero by zero, then it is known as indeterminate from that. We have studied in the first four class. If a function is in indeterminate and if it is a polynomial, then factorize the polynomial. If it is in the numerator or in the denominator or in both, here the numerator can be factorized as we need. X tends to three. X plus three into x minus three. Divided by x minus 
แต่สมัยสเตนสมัยสเตนแอนเซอร์ก็ประกอบสิ่งประกอบไปที่ so v plus v z plus z sorry z plus v six and the fourth now the fourth year there is a fourth day same as the next first two day of third conditions the next year start times two three four five z equal to the fourth day z equal to six for that state so we can say that therefore the whole facts is continuous continuous function at x is equal to at x is equal to three the real function the function is continuous <laughs> now we can pass on another example for second question I am changing the constant. See, I am going to change the constant. X is equal to that. X is equal to the value of function is zero. The first condition becomes a fourth condition. Second condition is same. We get six. But in third condition, the fourth three is not equal to any extensions to be a fourth x. So the function is not continuous or it is on a discontinuous function. Not continuous. So this is a discontinuous function. Discontinuous function at the accessible. A function is continuous at the real function if it satisfies all these conditions. First, second, and third conditions. If any one of the conditions fails, then the function is not continuous. Such functions are discontinuous functions and they are constant. Okay. Now, second. If a function is contains bracket function or modulus function or having more than one row, then we have to find both left hand limit and right hand limit. So then the first condition is L x and L x is left hand limit. There is limit to x r times to a minus And R times limit extends to A plus four. Both these are parameters separated. And if L X is equal to R X, if left hand limit is equal to right hand limit, then we have to find the limit. Limit extends to a x. Limit extends to a of x is same as a of b. Then we have all. Uh, I mean the last question. If these two are same, if a x is equal to a x and which is equal to a of b, if these be Conditions start saying, then the function is said to be a continuous function. Then, the complex is a continuous function. At that constant, at x is equal to e. If any one of these conditions fails, if a lateral is equal to a lateral. But not equal to f of a. Then f of x is a discontinuous function. Then f is a discontinuous function. And we must function at x equal to a. And for more than a, if for a lateral 
a small k quadratic part sum then also the function is this continuous and that constant this is the second method in the second method the function which has more than one row that is the function will combine in bracket or modulus or more than having more than one row let us discuss in the next example suppose we have a function of surface modulus of x y x if x not equal to zero and zero if x star is equal to at x is equal to zero x is equal to zero check whether this function is continuous or not now this function has a modulus so l x and z In the data, x star comes to zero minus f of x. It is in the data. X comes to zero minus f of x is modulus of x by x. So the modulus function works. And f of x star is equal to x by x. Here, x star tends to zero minus what? x star tends to zero minus means what x is equal to zero minus plus x. As x star tends to zero minus, x tends to zero. So the proof here becomes. In the x tends to zero. Modulus of zero minus plus x zero minus x divided by in the denominator is also zero minus x. Modulus of minus x is x. In the x tends to zero. X divided by minus x. X by minus x is minus one. In the data, x tends to zero is minus one, so the limit of minus one is minus the limit of a constant is a constant that is. Now, find the arcs. Arcs. Arcs of things in the data. Similarly, zero plus a four x is same as no x by x. Arcs are helpful. x is equal to zero plus plus x. As x tends to zero plus, here x becomes zero. Therefore, in the data, x tends to zero. Modulus of x is modulus of zero plus x by x. That is, in the data, x tends to zero. X by x, that is one. The limit of a constant is a constant x by x is one. The limit of x tends to zero one is one. For so since L x is not equal to R x, L x and R x are defined. Therefore, the whole x is a discontinuous function. Discontinuous function. I can say for the moment, I can say for the moment. Okay. A function having more than one row. In this case, we have to find L x L and R x L. If L x L is equal to R x L, then find the index tells me for A. Here, L x L and R x L are defined. So, the function is a discontinuous function. Now one more example. Find the of k if both x is equal to x squared if x not equal to zero. 
and uh, x square plus and uh, k if the x half is equal to zero. This continues. At x is equal to zero. At all x is equal to zero. The function is continuous. Then we have to find the value of the constant. Here the constant is zero. The limit of x tends to zero before x is equal to zero. Limit of x tends to zero. x square plus two. X is equal to zero, so here it will be answer zero square plus two, that is two. And f of zero is f of zero is when it extends to zero f of x, that is as f of zero is when x is equal to zero, the value of the function is k. Since the function is continuous, since uh, it is continuous, continuous at x is equal to zero. Here we can say that this was same limit term x tends to 0 above x is same as above 0. So 2 is equal to a or the value of a is equal to. So similarly, you can find the value of a constant in a function is continuous. Fair. Okay, fair?